Hi to all interested in the new Honda CRF250L series. Myself, Ace and Jack have a few days up in the high country, Jimna State Park, and this is to discover some of the trails and tracks on offer here. Jack is only staying for one nighter. He uh, has a Suzuki V-Strom 1000, so it's a little bit oversized for the trails and tracks we're going to discover. So stand by for some off-roading adventures and thanks also to my returning subscribers. Joined for the next two days uh, by Ace on his DR650. So we've decided to uh, free roam on these tracks and trails and opt out of following the trails via a GPS. I find this strategy much more fulfilling and provides a sense of discovery as we progress. We don't really know what to expect and how difficult the terrain will unfold, but we are both up for an adventure. So staying true to our free roaming decision, we followed this track that led steeply up one of the mountains not knowing what was up there or how difficult the track would be. So throwing caution to the wind, onward and upward. Not the most choice way to dismount, but this happens and when you least expect it as well. Took me a few minutes to manoeuvre 180 degrees off that steep incline and head back down to head up another mountain track. Thank you. 
As most will know, the Honda CRF250L is new into my stable of bikes. I've opted to go with a small board dirt bike. Well, specifically, it's a dual sport. Very, very light, though. And um, it's, uh, the agility of this Honda is exceptional and is perfect for free riding in places less travelled. Really enjoying this bike. It wasn't too long before we were presented with our second challenge of the day. Before I say one of the steepest downhill tracks in the park region. Ace is an experienced all-terrain rider and even he walked a bit when he first spotted the descent that lay before us. I might add at this point that this descent was long and pointing very much downhill. The descent was challenging to say the least. I've estimated approximately 30 degrees and that's no exaggeration here at all. The strategy was to maintain traction using clutch, brakes and blind luck. The gravel and rocks and washouts were an issue here. But wait, there's more. Okay, time for us to go.
As you can see by the terrain, it varies from open and straight tracks to mountainous twisty hill climbs. This place is a big boys adventure playground, and that's in every sense. There's nothing quite like a ridge road to unleash the Kraken. We somehow doubled back from the ridge road and uh, we came back to the mother of all hidden hill climbs. This was the one we came down on. Let's see how we handle going up. Coffee station. <laughs> yeah, it's 12.30 at night and we're drinking coffee. <laughs> Bye. Look at all the Look at them in there. Look at that. Day two, we found more trails in open country. These ones were a hoot. You get a chance to bang it a little bit. We periodically checked the GPS to make sure we weren't on any dead ends.
You may have noticed Ace is wearing an Insta360 camera. It's a new one and he's just trialling it. Uh, he didn't know that uh, he had it on the wrong setting and he recorded everything for the two days in slow-mo version. There's no, there's no fun in slow-mo. So onward and upward, let's keep on going. Although this is a gazetted road, it leads through uh, many private properties of graziers with, uh, with uh, horses and stock and cows that we noticed. So it was pretty important to uh, open and close the gates as we went through. There turned out to be about oh, I don't, uh, four, four gates, I think, over about 20 kilometres of uh, high country tracks. So we swap bikes for a little while and uh, I get to ride the DR650. There's a lot more torque in these uh, larger uh, 650s, but it took a little time to get used to the extra weight and the extra torque. Ace looks like he's having fun on my bike. So all things considered, we had a pretty good time. We both decided that we will return again, looking for new trials and tracks in the Gymnastate Forest. Thanks for your indulgence and sticking with us until the end. I have many more locations earmarked, so subscribe to be notified when the next Honda CRF250L vid has been uploaded.